put them put them away. I will proceed like this. So after a finite number of steps, we get to any number up there, we get to any number down there. Yeah? So every number will be matched with something. We have two, let's say, two infinite lines of, of people, yeah, and we are always matching like uh, two, two uh, people which are standing on the first positions in the lines. And we always take uh, take two people from there, but there is always infinitely many people which are which are like uh, standing, which are waiting. Yeah, we have uh, so we have two. In finite lines, always enough space. Yeah. So something, something like this. So we can we can do the map, map it, matching. Actually, like the matching is that x is match m map mapped to 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 x, which is which is rather very very simple but I, I think like the, the uh, description with the, with the two two lines is, is much much easier to to understand and um, much like better better explanation but okay so uh, now what what we know we know that set of even numbers and set of odd numbers are of the same size yeah so uh, what we can do is we assign We assign positive numbers to two even numbers, and we assign say negative numbers to odd numbers. Now yeah, we have like we have like. Uh, who numbers are from positive and negative numbers, and and there is zero. But uh, I uh, like I don't want to like uh, mess it up here. Like it should be like no negative and negative. But um, yeah, we have like uh, two two infinite lists of numbers, and we have two infinite lists of numbers, uh, even and odd numbers. So we can just match these lists together. I will I will draw a picture, and it will be much much like be much easier to understand. So we have like. A whole numbers which which goes like this one two three four five six seven uh, sorry uh, minus one minus two minus three and so on okay so we would like to number these numbers by natural numbers so what we do we start with zero and it will be our zero number then we go let's say to the left one and to the left and we get to to the first number in our sequence. Then we go to the two to the right, uh, like tick tock like this. So we take uh, this will be the second number. And we go to the left again. Now uh, always tick tock there and back and there and back. Yeah. Uh. Like this. Yeah. Uh, so our our sequence, our line of the numbers we construct in the end will be zero minus one plus one minus two plus two minus three plus three minus four plus four and so on. Yeah. Uh, so as you can see, even numbers are we assign a non-negative thing to even numbers. Yeah. Uh, and we assign negative numbers to odd numbers. This, of this sequence, and it it was uh, perfect. Yeah. So, like you can imagine that you have the following problem: you are, let's say, um, standing uh, along the wall, now like this, at some some point, and. Um, like uh, or maybe maybe like a uh, better example is you're standing standing in like a long corridor and uh, you don't know which way you should you should choose yeah and the only thing you have ensured is that there is some if if you go some uh, long enough distance at one direction you will you will um, you will get away uh, what you can't do is to start to run in one direction and hope that you you have chosen the, the right the right one. Yeah, because if you do this, 
Now if you do this uh, this uh, running here and if you have chosen the bad direction you will never know about it. Yeah? The correct thing you can you can do is to uh, choose some kind of like a uh, zigzag moving like like here that you go a little a little forward and then you say okay maybe I'm wrong so I you will go back and maybe I'm wrong again you will go uh, there and so on. Yeah. And so the key is if there is some some if there are some doors out yeah, after finitely many finite finite long time you will find them because after some time you will get beyond them. Yeah. So you instead of of uh, that you would be like exploring uh, only only uh, like uh, one way you are exploring both ways. Of course, it's uh, like much slower because you are going like back and forth and back and forth over and over. But after finite time, you will escape away. Yeah. So uh, this is something we need to we need to ensure at this numbering that after some time we will get to every natural number and if we would just go go into the positive numbers we couldn't ensure that but since we are going zigzag then then we will we will always get to any number so let's say one minus minus one million and you ask okay so show me that you will enumerate this number also so you say but but yes like we will you enumerate this number in the in the step uh, plus two millions and uh, why? Because like we are always like enumerating, uh, like uh, half of the time we are enumerating negative numbers, and half of the time we are enumerating positive numbers. So you can also like like draw it in a different way. That like you have like like um, positive numbers. Yeah, we have like um, zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. And you have negative numbers minus one, minus two, minus three, minus four, minus five, and so on. You have like two two lines. Yeah, two lines, two infinite lines are waiting. I don't know, in front of cinema, and uh, you would like to. Uh, you have like infinite, yeah, uh, infinite uh, cinema, or infinite hotel, or something like that, and you would like to uh, get uh, to to let everyone to get in. So you can't do it in the way that you would take one line and put it inside, like one person by one person, right? Because you would never get. To uh, the other line, yeah, it would always there will be always more and more people going from one line, but it will never deplete because the line is infinite, yeah. So we are doing it like tic tac way, meaning okay, one person from one line, one person from the other one, one person from the first line, from the other one, yeah. We are always like doing one from these, one from these, and you always um, and uh, by this, uh, like if you have some person waiting here, yeah, after some number of steps the person will get inside yeah so two you are able to place two infinite lines two infinities you are able to squeeze in one infinity and it's not so difficult to imagine that if you would have uh, like uh, three infinities you could squeeze them there also so the next step is infinitely many of Infinities, infinities, and I think I think this is uh, this is a good uh, point to um, stop here, and we will we will continue next time. We will get to uh, to infinity many of infinities, and even to larger infinities. Yeah, so so. So that's that's it for today, and maybe let me. If we are talking about infinity, let me let me conclude with one mathematical joke, and maybe maybe you don't know it. Okay, so the joke is how how to prove that a horse has infinitely many many legs. Yeah. Mm, so it's very simple. We will start with the with the proof. So how is the proof? So consider a horse. Okay, so this horse has two front legs. Yeah. Now you can imagine like you have a horse which looks like, like this. 
here's head, here's tail. I think it looks more like red, but uh, I uh, consider my drawing. So we have like two two legs like this, uh, two front legs. We have also two back legs. Yeah, we have two left legs. Uh, this one, and we have two. Right legs, like this. Okay, so this is eight in total, and eight is as far as I know even number. Okay, are you fine with this? So now, a horse has eight the legs. This is this is a very very weird observation. It is quite odd for a horse to to have eight legs, yeah. Okay. So it is an odd number. Yeah, quite quite weird odd number. Okay, so we have number of legs. Let me denote it L, which is even. Yeah, as stated here, it's eight, so it's even, and also it's odd. So this number L is even and odd at the same time, meaning that which number is even and odd at the same time? Hmm, only if L is equal plus or minus infinity and this this concludes the proof okay so so thanks for watching and next time we are uh, going definitely definitely to to conclude this and uh, you can you can look um, uh, look forward for uh, many more tricks and many more surprising things because like the the interesting part of the satire in infinity infinity is, is just starting yeah? so so see ya